For any like public health issues that want to be tackled, um, you want to think about things on a global scale and the best way to act on that is to act locally first. I am currently working with a group of public health students to be able to find safer and effective do-it-yourself cleaners because a lot of the different towns and cities around us are starting to adopt a no plastic policy for their bags. So there will be a lot more people that are going to be using all different types of fabric-based bags. We asked the question to our participants, what do you use your reusable bag for other than food? And some came back as trash, some came back as dirty clothes, laundry. Um, one person said kitty litter. From a public health standpoint, we're actually concerned about a reusable bag being dirty and it being a vector for bacteria and viruses going back into stores. The students provided the town of Westford a brochure that would include three uh, third-party tested do-it-yourself cleaners. And it was pretty fun because we were trying to find like household items that we could mix together into like this gross solution and um, try to find ways to get these different um, solutions off with DIYs. I think working with the students was extraordinarily successful. The intelligence and the amount of work that they're willing to do was absolutely incredible. Research projects are so important for students to be able to find themselves and their voice and be able to start a project from the beginning all the way to the end and actually see how does it apply to the world at large. I've learned how to properly program manage and uh, sit down and collect data in the proper form. Our research here and the connections that we're having with neighboring communities has helped us realize the ability to take our research and use that actually you know, in a community setting.